Hola Mexico, Larry Herb Xbox is Major Nelson here. I am so excited to be down here uh, in Mexico for FanFest. Such an amazing country, such an incredible Xbox community that I was invited down here to represent Xbox and I'm thrilled to be here. I've got some questions here that you submitted. Let's take a look here from uh, at Tristan Hart Shandy. Tristan Shandy, yeah, got it. Uh, what are you most passionate about working at Xbox? One of the things I'm most passionate about is working with the development teams on helping them tell their stories. They're busy creating world-class, amazing games and working with them to find the stories that, that you, the gamers, would like to hear about. Certainly you want to hear about the game, but you also want to hear about what went into making the game. What was the inspiration for that character or that power or that environment? Things like that are very, very powerful, so I love working with them. Uh, next I have here from uh, Diana Karen Mart. What impact does Mexico have on Xbox? What role does Mexico have in the developing process of games? Well, you know, Mexico has had a long impact on Xbox. The passion, the, the way that Mexico embraced Xbox when we launched uh, many, many years ago, it, it, is, it has exceeded everyone's wild ex expectations. And coming down here and having the excitement, I was I was fortunate enough to be down here a few years ago when we had Fan Fest, and if you could just if I could bottle that excitement in that room, it was just it was intoxicating. So you know, Xbox has always been key to our global story, and that's why I'm here. All right, Shadow Man B4 uh, asks, if you could only play one video game for the rest of your life, what would it be? Well, if you watch Showcase, especially. Uh, showcase extended with, uh, with, with, with Starfield Direct. You saw Starfield and the incredible game that it is. I feel like that's one I could probably play for the rest of my life on Game Pass. So when you look at all of the different parts of, of Starfield in terms of whether it's the crafting and the building and the combat and the exploration, there's a lot there. So I feel like that's one that could take me years, if not beyond, to discover, complete, and I don't think I'll ever finish the game. All right, Giant K1708. What's the weirdest thing you've been gifted on your visit to Mexico? You know, that's an interesting question because when I come down here, I don't expect gifts, but I will say this is the, the Xbox Mexican team gave me this, this incredible tie uh, from a local designer. And so this, I will always cherish this. It's not the weirdest one, but this is one of the most meaningful because of, of what it is. Alberto Garcia. Alberto wants to know, what does Xbox mean for you and your team? For many, it's passion. What about you? You know, Alberto, um, Xbox is more than just a career for me. It's more than just a job. It's more than just an occupation. It is something that I've been doing for 20 years of my life, a, a vast majority of my life. And I love it so much because of the joy and excitement that it brings to people, the access that it, it brings to people. People, whether, you know, wherever you are in the world, you can connect with other friends over Xbox and play games. You know, during the pandemic, we saw this. It was an incredible, incredible tool where people could connect even though they were isolated. Adolfo Iesu Esio wants to know, has any video game left you with an unforgettable life lesson or an unforgettable message? You know, there's, there's, a, there's quite a few, but I think it's more of I back, go up a level and something I've talked about is how video games can help people um, at, at large. In other words, video games can help people cope with isolation, cope with anxiety, connect with friends. Um, and these experiences are something that, that are, are very unique to gaming. Um, so if I think about some that have given me a life lesson, it's not, that they, it's not that they've, one has given me a life lesson, is that this industry has given me a life lesson of how important this industry is to you as gamers and to you, Adolfo. Um, this is not just a lifestyle. You know, this is something that you pour your heart and soul in, and we pour our heart and souls into. So um, I guess that's really the story is that it's, it's I was, I've been continually amazed at the passion behind video gamers. Alex Bennington wants to know, oh, interesting. If you had gone back in time and would have to start from the beginning, would you still choose to work in Xbox rather than any other Microsoft area? Absolutely. When I, I remember in 2003, when I worked, I was working in another part of Microsoft and I was going to gaming, was going to Xbox. It was right around a little bit after we launched Xbox Live. And um, people were like, why are you going to go 
work on games. You know, this is video games weren't what they are today. And I said, because I think they're going to make a difference. I think people are going to grow up and gaming is going to be the way they are told stories. Instead of going to the movies, they're going to play video games. Perhaps instead of reading books, they're going to play video games. This is how they're going to be entertained. They're going to learn. They're going to connect. And so, no, absolutely not. I would, the only, my only mistake was I should have gone to Xbox earlier. That is one thing that I do regret. Uh, but I'm here today and thank you for your question, Alex.